Hello, everyone. Welcome to the United Way. My name is Rob Dukan, Manchester United fan, just like you who clicked the video. In this short video, guys, you know exactly what's going on with Manchester United. We have the Greenwood story. We have the Harry Maguire, which we believe United have accepted the deal from West Ham, but still he's a Manchester United player. Harry Maguire, my, my future, I mean, he, he, might, he is a Manchester United player. He might future in the game against West Ham. So, uh, yeah, we will talk about that. We'll talk also very shortly about the update in regards to Todibo, Jean-Claude Todibo from Nice, uh, the French international. We'll talk also about Pavard, Benjamin Pavard, who plays for, um, uh, for Bayern Munich and, uh, you know, the, the difficulties in bringing in Pavard uh, to Manchester United. So, guys, before we continue that, please make sure you click the like on the video. Please, guys, like all the videos because if we can build a bigger community, yeah, you can have folks that can uh, share your opinion with you. You can have people you can disagree, but that's what fun is all about. I remember in the 90s as a kid, after a football game, I had to go to a local pub or snack bar or bar or whatever, I mean, talk with football fans. They were calling me Manchester United, but yeah, that's history. We'll talk about that another time. But it is been, but now, we'll just, let's just go straight to the first, first, first story. The first story, yeah, and uh, it's about Harry Maguire. We know that Manchester United need cash. We have spent 160 million pounds buying three players, our goalkeeper. We know we have Manchester United have bought a, a midfielder in Mason Mount, and then we've bought a striker, an exciting striker in um, Ramos, in Ra Rasmus, uh, uh, and La Ra Rasmus, and uh, United, for us to get two more transfers, and I think United would need two more transfers to close the window, this is what Ten Hag has done, this is what Ten Hag will continue to do to Manchester United, bringing in five players, five Ten Hag signings, and also, sorry for the noise, I'm in a hotel, yeah, and uh, you know, they're doing some cleaning, but I want to relate with you guys, so guys, please make sure you click that like button, even if you dislike my opinion, but this is an opinion platform, drop yours because I'd love to hear your opinion as well. Thanks for all of you subscribing. We have just hit 3K. We have 7,000K to go. 7,000K to go. So make sure you smash that like on the video. And guys, our winner, our winner for the cap, the face cap in this channel, our winner for the face cap of this channel, it's no one else but Prince Odion. Prince Odion, all I want to tell you is uh, come to uh, go to my our our con our uh, channel. Go to our channels. Um, go to go to our channel so in, uh, Instagram and send me your address, and I'll send it to our uh, guys. They are going to send you one of our face cards. They'll post it to you. So do it very fast because we have basically three days for us to go. After three days, sorry, you won't be able to send it because of certain reasons. So, uh, Ari Magwe is still a Manchester United player. He hasn't left Manchester United. He hasn't accepted the deal. We know there are some discussions going on with Manchester United and Harry, and Harry Magwe's camp in order to let him go. United will be forced to give Harry Magwe in the region of at least £5 million to let him go. Ha why? Because Harry Magwe's salary, this is the problem we've been having with Manchester United. Harry Magwe's salary is 190. It's reported to be £190 a week. £190,000 a week is a salary that people earn at pay. PCG. It's a salary that people earn at PCG monthly. It's a salary that people earn at, at good leagues, you know, in, in Italian leagues monthly. But this is what United players earn a week, uh, uh, um, Harry Magway. We know that the deal between West Ham and Manchester United, because this is from The Sun who has given this information. I know The Sun isn't a very reputable uh, paper, but you know, they won't just be writing out of their ass. They have some information as well. They are uh, an outlet, so they will obviously do more digging than us, you and us as fans. So our, for our position here is to react towards it. So the Sun has said, yeah, West Ham is ready to give Ari Magwe uh, uh, £120,000 a week. So United has to, for United, because if Harry Maguire doesn't accept to leave United, he will still United. He will have his salary United. He might be kicked to the gym B because Ten Hag will be gutted. We can't create in, he, he, uh, that we're keeping a player that we cannot use. So, um, so Manchester United in a position now to give Harry Maguire five million pounds. That's just what I said, five million pounds to let him to get out of our club. Very rude, but that's the, that's the honest way to express it, to let him to leave Manchester United, basically. And uh, let's, so we'll get some news about it. I think it's going to happen, I think, to some end. I think it's just negotiation tactics on Harry Maguire's camp, those who are interested in Manchester, in Harry Maguire's um, uh, future, who takes care of the PR, takes care of his, his contract details, because this is what footballers are 
I've been a player, not in that level, but I know that you need to have someone who does the negotiation for you. So that's the situation with Harry Maguire. The reason why we need Harry Maguire to leave is because of many, many options. Many, many reasons. The first reason we can say is because we need to raise money. Harry Maguire brings us roughly 25 million uh, pounds extra. Um, and that 25 million extra pound can be a good significant money, significant sum to bring in Amrabat. We know um, Amrabat, right, the player for Ferentino, has chosen only Manchester United. Fabrizio Romano said this a, a week ago. He has been approached by Liverpool. And this is something that Ten Hag has brought in Manchester United, which is fantastic. The, 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 Ten Hag coming to Manchester United has made the proposition and the brand and the interest for good players or players who want to play Manchester United. You remember back in the days, Manchester United, after say, Alex Ferguson, David Moyes, there was no strategy and players didn't want to come for United. The way if they had to come, it was about the money. It wasn't about the willingness to play for a club. So United is building by the brand of players who wanting to play for them. It reminds you of what clubs? It reminds you of Barcelona. It reminds you of Real Madrid. It reminds you of say, Alex Ferguson's Manchester United. So we are and we have to be really happy of what or we have to not remorse, that's not, I'm trying to find a word for that. We have to be, uh, we have to be, uh, we, we, we just have to be contented with that we have a manager and also feel some level of pride that we have a manager that has brought that, that respect to Manchester United. The players want to play for us, want to wear that shirt, guys. So Amrabat has been there. It's over two weeks United have been really serious, wanting to bring Amrabat. But we know we, we club told Ten Hag, we have to sell in order to buy. And uh, this, is what is, this is just exactly what Manchester United are trying to do uh, to, 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 to raise funds. Talking about raise funds, the other way to raise funds is to reduce our, our, our expenditures. Donny van de Beek, sorry for the noise. When I'm in a hotel, I can't stop them. They are giving us a platform for us to have our video today. So uh, that is what we, that we'll do. So ultimately, what United have to do is to kick players out, either for loan, if they can meet up the, the salary, clubs can meet up the salary, um, talking about loan, we, we will tell you about Donny van de Beek, who clearly will be a Sociedad player because United are, are moving closer to accept that loan deal, loan to sell, loan to buy deal from Sociedad, and uh, that would enormously reduce our salary. Donny van de Beek was earning in Ajax, I think in the region of £20,000 a week, and came to Manchester United. They gave him more than five times what he earned in Ajax. He is reported to be over £120,000 a week, Donny van de Beek. So he's moving to Spain. The deal with, with um, this uh, loan is uh, the Spanish team is going to pay Donny van de Beek's uh, salary. That helps to reduce the books in terms of expenditures on Manchester United. Good deal. Tell me what you think below about Don Van We go to uh, the biggest topic of the day, Mason Greenwood. Look, I just want to tell you guys, I did a live stream yesterday about Mason Greenwood. Mason Greenwood. I told you guys that Mason, Mason Greenwood is a human like you and me. I respect the fact that you don't want Mason Greenwood to play for Manchester United. But what I don't respect that you don't want to, what I don't respect in this argument is that you don't respect the fact that I consider Mason Greenwood as a young kid 19 years old when he had that scandal with another young kid. It's not like um, different in ages, right? Like the young kids. I consider Mason Greenwood as a kid who did a mistake like my son. I consider him, I would not want a young teenager for 19 years old, now he's 21, his career to be destroyed by a one incident, a one capital incident. Even in prison, he, people, don't, people don't have such an issue. There is a second chance. I'm a second chance FC. I've told most of you down here that I'm a second chance guy and I will give Racing Giroud that chance. I will let him play in Manchester United. I had some encouraged reports yesterday. The, the, the Express in the US, in the UK, was writing about Missing Greenwood and trying to uh, basically uh, say that uh, uh, he's having some psychotherapies. Uh, you know, they're trying to work on his mentality, his mental health for him to be ready. We had some reports that he might be giving, the, the might be, United might be all, in a show about his interview for Missing Greenwood to discuss with the public, maybe to send some some uh, some spot spotlights about his uh, whatever uh, his um, remorse in what he did. He wants to maybe ask for forgiveness from the fans, and if Missing Greenwood asks for forgiveness, and none of you come back and and try to consider this kid, 
then I don't know what, I, I don't think you're a Manchester United fan. Mason Greenwood, if, let me just put it this way. If Mason Greenwood was your brother, what, would you, what decision will you do? Drop your comment below and stop behaving, stop bitching on the channel. If Mason Greenwood was your brother, what would you do? Drop your comments below. I will reply because I need to understand this. Let's go to the news, the other section of the news. I try to make it 10 minutes, but let's do 15 today. But yeah, so you know, the reason why we have to sell Harry Maguire is, is to buy Jean Claude Todibo from Nice. And where is Nice? Nice, and who owns Nice? Nice is owned by Sir Jim Larcliffe. Todibo is a French international, 23 years of age, physical, I mean, had some European experience, has played for Shark, played in Portugal, played in France, played in Milan. Was, uh, had, at some point had some interest from uh, FC Barcelona. So I think Todibo has the, 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 the great credibility to play for a team like Manchester United because the age means growth. Yes, it will be complicated to bring him to Manchester United financially wise. That's why Manchester United are leaving their options very open. Fabrizio Romano came out and just said, it's the yesterday, I read his article, what he said, he said Manchester United basically also are looking for another option. The option is still another Frenchman, Benjamin Pavard. Benjamin Pavard who plays for Bayern Munich, 27 years of age, experienced player, played the World Cup, scored a fantastic goal against Argentina's Leonard Messi, which most of you watched the game in the World Cup. I think Pavard, for me, I just want to ask you guys, which of the two of them do you think uh, you favor? Pavar or you think ben, uh, or, or uh, Todibo? Because personally, I will go with Pavar, and I'll tell you guys why. I know most of you are going for a long-term investment, which is like a 23-year-old. I'm fine with it. But if you are trying to tell me about what we need now, because United is not that perfect team yet. We need established players. I will go for Pavar. I will go for three years, amazing with Pavar, and also uh, in the next two, three years, I think a player like Veran will have like two more years in Manchester United. I don't think he will be sharp. I don't know. I'm not God, but that's my just speculation. But Pavab giving three years of his career in Manchester United and uh, bringing in another young player within that period, it makes sense. That would not be a bad investment, considering that his value today is 20, is uh, like uh, 30 million euros, which is in pounds, to uh, roughly 27 million pounds. All our mathematicians can do that. Um, uh, 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 I mean, basically all the mathematicians can do the calculation and tell us below. So that my, my, um, my uh, last conclusion and question to you guys is about two basic, we have these two basic questions we want to handle. We want to handle back, come back to Mason Greenwood. If Mason Greenwood was your brother or your relative, will you, want, will you give him a second chance for Manchester United? And I want to remind you, all of your opinion, while it does matter, Decision will be made by the club. Then Hag has said that, Adidas has said that, and uh, only the Manchester United female football team has come uh, two days ago and made a negative clear comment and said, we don't want missing Green in our club, which I think is very unfair. The reason why I think it's unfair is because I don't see why the female football club should be deciding for the male football club. It's, uh, it's, I just think it's wrong. I just think it's wrong. I, I just think it's wrong. I mean, everybody has a limit in whatever thing they, they do in any organization. I think opinion, everybody has a right. I do have, you have, but not, I don't think they, 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 they are, their opinion is better than yours or mine. That's just the simple fact I think about this situation. Tell me that below. Then, in regards to the defend, defenders, we have to take one. Between Pava and uh, Todibo, which do you prefer? And tell me please below, which of them do you prefer? Maybe you guys have more information than we do. We are here to share. You don't need to take everything I say. I know the world, most people love to be dictated on, but that's not what I want. I want to give you that power for you to express yourself. So um, then uh, the last question is, should Manchester United keep uh, Magwe? And I don't want to say it, uh, it should Madre, I mean, I should Madre be given a second chance because I think the, the issue of Madre is just very evident. He is so slow. He doesn't meet up the, the physicality the, 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 of what, with the way we want to play high line. But I would say um, Amrabat, this is a midfielder, which I don't, will not ask you guys a question if we need him or not or not. I think Manchester United clearly needs a midfielder. Um, uh, to be a deputy, someone to be a good deputy for Casemiro. Well, guys, this is a short video that I have just come out with. Our video mostly uh, uh, is about just Manchester United. Thanks if you watched till now. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel, 
Tomorrow, United is playing their first game against Wolves. We're hosting Wolves. I think my score will be 3-1. Hopefully 3-0, but 3-1 is what I go for Manchester United. It's, we have to start the season in fire. If you haven't seen my match reaction, go to the channel. We do react pre-match reaction, pre-match preview. Sorry, if you haven't seen my match preview. But we'll be doing a match reaction. That will be in another hotel, in another setup, because I'm leaving this hotel in Portugal. And we'll be going straight to Lisbon uh, on Manchester United Day. Well, without all said, guys, talk to you soon. Be a good United fan and uh, smash a like on the video if you did learn something from it. Ciao, ciao.